Hello, welcome back to our channel. And today uh, we're going over all the modifications that I've made to the camper in preparation for our trip out to Moab and Jackson Hole and Yellowstone. Uh, our longtime subscribers already know about this trip, but we'll be gone for a month, and this will this is what we'll be staying in for a month. So there were some things that I wanted to do to uh, make it a lot more sustainable and and long term than it was when we bought it. Uh, one of the first modifications I made was putting these screws in these cabinets so this would not pull loose when you have this top bunk down. I know it's junky up there right now, but we're gonna fix that before we go. But to use this top bunk, you have to slide this over and lock it. And uh, it was just ends with some little short screws cause you see this is not very thick. So I put these long through bolts through it because on our first trip, we actually broke this one. Now the other side, it only has three in it and I've got to put the other one in it because I run out of bolts. So I don't know how I got a pack that had seven bolts in it instead of eight, but I did. Uh, another one of the modifications that I made in here to make life more livable is the Velcro. Uh, uh, these, these things are notoriously bad about uh, all your cushions and everything falling off. So what I've done is I bought some industrial Velcro that's double back, uh, sticky on the back. And these, uh, these pads, I just put some, the soft side on the wall where when you're down, it's not rough. And then the, the, uh, the side with the, the hard loops go on the cushions and they just stick. And now they're still a little loose, but they don't fall off. And I also done that for the, uh, on the, uh, bottoms, uh, on the bottoms for where when you make the bed uh all the uh all the pads don't don't move around then also and uh that's all the modifications i've made on the inside so let's go outside and i'll, I'll show you some more third okay the third modification major modification i made was to add this toolbox on the front uh where i store my hoses and ratchet straps uh here pressure regulators i got some bungee straps in here also this is where i stored my battery uh <laughs> I, I had to make a, a custom battery uh cover cap for the hot side because the lid that actually went on this plastic box would not fit in here so i i, I made that to cover up the hot pole of the side that way nothing will fall and hit it the negative doesn't matter uh another major modification i made was to add twin tanks up front uh -huh. added the twin tanks up front because our our heater our water heater and also our, our stove are all gas they none of those will run on electric they're full-time gas so i added a second one to give us some more range uh i didn't want to run out in the middle of the night and not have something to go to so i added a another tank uh i got this on amazon uh eBay, I eBay. think I gave 20 bucks for it. And I modified it where I could put a lock in it. Uh, I just bent a tab down, screw, uh, drilled a hole in it where a lock would go through it. Uh, so that's another modification that I made. Uh, the fourth one. The fourth modification I made was it had no sewer line holder on it. So I made a sewer line holder. Uh, this sewer line holder is made out of PVC fence post. Uh, the reason being is it's five inches and the hose will not go in a four inch tube. So you have to find something that's five inches. And this is the cheapest thing I found for five. It was five inches. Uh, it was a third of the price of the, uh, the factory holders that you can, you can find. Uh, also when I done this, I added this little box here, this uh, ammo box here. And what this ammo box is for, I had to modify the handle where it would open. But what this is for is this is where my T's and my L's and my and my gloves and everything go for, for the sewer. Uh, I wanted to keep them separate from everything else. I didn't want to contaminate everything. So I added that. Okay. Uh, another thing we done is underneath here is my generator. I know the... So I had an old generator. Uh, 
I actually got it for free. It wasn't working. Uh, I had to work on it to get everything running. But after uh, I, like $20 worth of parts, I got it up and running. It's 1800 watts. It will be plenty big enough to, uh, to run what we need to run. And I custom made a cover to go over it out of hard plastic uh, because nobody made a cover. Okay. The uh, next thing I've done is in this bag, I know it don't fit perfectly, but in this bag is our pipes for our shower uh, stall that we made. Uh, I'll skip to a, a clip of it right now showing uh, what it looks like put up, but I, I bought this bag. Uh, it wasn't quite long enough to put this in. That way I can keep it all together in one place. The next modification I made was to bend uh, uh, some wire to go around this the inlet for the uh, heater. And also back here, the inlet for the, uh, for the uh, hot water heater. Uh, you don't want to run these with these screens on it because it, it reduces the amount of air that actually goes in them. But when you're not using it, uh, you want to keep them covered up because you don't want the uh, the wasp and the other little flying insects to build nests in here. So that was another mo modification I made. Uh, another modification I made was to a place to hang my ladder. Uh, needed a ladder, so I'd get up on the roof, check that, make sure all the roof and everything's good. Also to set the awning out. Uh, we have a manual awning, so you have to climb up there and physically take it out so I'm tall but I'm not that tall so I, uh, I bought a little four foot ladder and I modified the the uh, hangers for the outdoor shower which is here I modified the ladder where I could use the hangers for the outside shower okay okay so the next is also the shower shower that goes here and uh, it's in a bag up front and We'll break to a clip of showing it right now uh, of the ladder of the enclosure I made for the outside shower out of some PVC pipe that was extremely cheap. So the next one. The next modification that we made was in our pantry. Uh, I added some shelves and the way I added them in here, they don't need any screws or anything, but they're in here extremely tight. So that was the, the next modification that that i wanted to do so that that was also a modification that was made okay the next modification is is actually down here at the tag and but from the factory the tag holder was plastic and i didn't like that being plastic with this tag hanging down so i just took some little strips of flat metal and bent them and actually attached them in the same place that the uh, that the plastic uh, tag mount was at. Okay, so the next one is uh, the next one is the pipes. The next one is underneath, as you can see here. Uh, I wrapped all the pipes, all the external pipes, in uh, in insulation to keep them from freezing because the temperatures we're going to uh, even in August at night it can still get cold enough to freeze in Yellowstone. So. I didn't want any of our water to freeze, so that was also a modification that was made. Okay, okay another, little, one. another little small modification I made was to add this elbow here at the water connection. And the reason I added this here is, number one, you when the hose pipe is straight out, it puts a lot of stress on this, and it's just plastic. And number two, it being plastic, on and off with the hose, you'll wear it out. So. I added this little elbow there to to do that, and the little the uh, the little stopper that that you're supposed to put in here actually fits in here also. And you have to screw this one out, but I don't want to take it out right now because it's kind of a pain to get back in. But that keeps that all sealed up. Next, that's all it. The next modification was here in the back. My wife was short. So she needed a little stool so she could see, cook. So I got her a little stool. Stop humiliating me. <laughs> I got her a stool that fits in here. So that was the next modification. 
so far that's all it i think no nope. there's more one last modification that was made the awning nope last one and the last modification that was made was we bought one of these uh, uh, stair rugs to go on the on the stairs where we could wipe our feet before we go in it just attaches, attaches on the bottoms with some springs we got it at Walmart and it was super cheap and that's all in all of everything that, that has been done to this camper in preparation of going on this trip okay so how long will it be We'll be gone for a month. So okay. over the next month, our videos might be a little slow coming in uh, because we don't know what kind of service we'll have to upload and all that. So uh, our videos in August might be slow. Yeah, but, but just we'll be patient. We'll try yeah, we'll our try best. To, yeah, we'll try our best to get everything uploaded. But come September, you'll see a big, huge dump. To give of, some updates. Of everything. Uh, that we do in in august uh we'll be doing a lot of reviews on stuff that we like and that we don't like like i said we've made a couple of small trips uh, we made a trip for three days and then another little trip but uh so that that will be the the long trip uh that we take to really hash out if there's anything else that we want to do this or any other changes that we want to make but as we come across those uh we will let you know and we'll update it and I'll make the modifications and I'll make them cheap as possible because uh, you can really, really, really spend a lot of money uh, taking your camper to the camper place to have a little small things changed. And everything you've seen me do on this entire camper, uh, everything was done, each modification was done actually under 50 bucks. So uh, this is extremely low budget modifications that you can make to make life a lot easier in one of these little 129 sports yeah. why pay more when you can when you can have it for less exactly uh you can buy a shower uh to go on these uh i think the, the cheapest one i found that that actually fits on that that's is like 130 140 150 bucks just depending on where you get it uh Modification, well, I take that back. Uh, this one modification of this toolbox, this toolbox was the most expensive modification. And I bought it at Tractor, uh, no, I bought it at Harbor Freight with a coupon and I gave, I think, $85 for it. So this was our most expensive modification to date. Uh, like I said, this, this old propane tank was just kind of kicking around and I had it refilled and I sprayed it with a little spray paint to make it look decent, and that's that's pretty much it. So uh, I think you can buy a fuel, uh, another propane tank full of full of gas. I think you can get it for like seventy bucks at Lowe's. So and all in all, that was it. So uh, you'll have to wrap it up. Other than our locks, you know, everybody needs to you need to make sure everything's locked up. Uh, all in all, that, that's it. That's all the modifications have been made. Uh, at the end of this year or next summer uh, or next spring, there is one more modification that I want to make to this camper, and that's up on the roof. I want to use some of that that tape that uh, to seal the seams and everything on the roof with. Uh, that way I don't have any problems with any of that lifting, but that will be in the future. Uh, like I said, it's a brand new camper, uh, actually less than a year old. It was actually manufactured in September of 2022, so it's it's less than a year old. And it's dirty. I'm gonna get out here and wash it and everything before we go. But this is just this is just typical dirt from it sitting out in the yard. Uh, I would I would put a uh, a cover over it. Uh, or put it underneath the carport, but with it having solar and everything on it, uh, the solar keeps the battery charged up, and uh, these deep cycle batteries are very expensive. Uh, some of them can run up as, as, to as much as $500, so uh, I really like having the solar to, to keep the battery and everything charged, 
Uh, if I did put a cover over it, I think I would put a full-time uh, battery maintainer on it, and that might be something that comes in the future. But for now, this is this is the place it's staying. So, like I said, for, for more cheap modifications and a good, long, uh, comprehensive review will we'll be coming sometime next month on, on what we think about, about these little 129 Sunrays. So if you want to see that, uh, come back and, and watch some more videos. Okay. Thanks. Until so we'll see far, you again. that's all it. And that's we'll it. see you again in our next video.